In my last video, I mentioned an element of the interface, the flight path vector, helped us more than anything else to give us more control and allow us to fly faster. How does the flight path vector help us fly faster? Traditional first person view on screen displays, the good ones at least, usually show the drone's current altitude, speed, pitch, and bank angle. The thing moving here is the boresight. Think of it as the nose of the drone fixed right up there in front. And sometimes you'll get a horizon line. These things are really great, really useful. But what is really missing is the ability to know the future. Sort of. The flight path vector, or here, FPV, is a visual representation of the current projected track of the drone. What this means is the software takes all of the collective outputs from the different sensors in the drone, speed, altitude, angle, etc., and combines them into a real-time model of the drone's current state. I also built a basic flight dynamics model of the drone. The software takes the sensor output and adds any relevant aspects of the dynamics model to it in real time. The combined output is a real time estimation of where the drone will be heading in the next roughly one second. Our initial inclination was to use the FPV as a guide. We use the controller to move the drone which moved the FPV. It sort of worked, however not very well. Then one day, I decided to switch it up. I would fly by using the controller to move the flight path vector around the image. The result? The controller moved the FPV, which in turn moved the drone. I was telling the computer where I wanted to go, and it in turn used the dynamics model to guide the drone there. Prior to the FPV, our only surefire indication that we were applying enough bank or yaw in a coordinated turn was either making it to our destination or crashing. Turning with the FPV, I knew that if the vector wasn't pointing at my destination yet, I needed to bank and yaw more. Simple as that. Having the extra second to react gave us much more confidence, and thus we pushed the drone harder. We were flying faster. Another added benefit, the laggy and distorted video from any Wi-Fi dropout was much less of a problem. You know, since we could see into the future at all. Eventually, I would like to encompass the entire performance envelope, or rather, the limits of the drone's performance capabilities into a dynamics model so that software can then keep me from pushing the drone beyond its limits.